Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to populate a list box based off of files that you've selected. So if we get started here, I'll just open up the uh, GUI here and there are two button or two things in here. One of them is the select files push button which uh, just says select files as the string and the tag is push select files. And then we have the list box that has nothing in it initially and the tag is list files. So if we go to the code, I've already opened it up and arranged it like I like it with the initialization section, which you need for the list box, and the callback section. And so here are the two functions. So this is the callback for the push button, and this is the callback for the list files. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, in the push button, when we push the button, we want to get the file path of the loading directory slash the folder, and get file path and file names uh, in here. So what I want to do is I want to use UI get file. Uh, to open up any files that we want. So uh, the outputs from that are the file name, the file path, and I uh, call this C check to check if the user has canceled out of the uh, opening dialog. And it's UI get file, and I'm just going to open up uh, any file, so star and any um, extension, so star.star. .star. And uh, the uh, title for the box will be select the data file that's the title of the prompt essentially and then we want to have multi select on so that we can select multiple files if it's not on if we don't put that in there then you will only be able to select one file even if you control select and what I want to do here is assign these in I'm just gonna copy this over from the other file instead of typing it over again uh, assign these in so that we can see them over in the workspace here and so if the user did not press cancel, so the check C check ends up being zero if you press the cancel button when the, when the window pops up. So let's assume that the user did not press cancel. Now we want to do a couple things. The first thing we want to do is reset the selection to the first entry, which means in the list box, I want to um, select uh, the first entry here as opposed to selecting this. I mean, in this case, it's imaginary here, but it goes back and selects the first entry like this. So you'll see what I mean when I run the code. So I'm going to set the handles.list files, and I want the value to be one because the value shows us what's selected. This is value one. If I had another entry here, this would be value two. Third one would be value three. And I also want to show the selected file names in the list box. So I want to populate the list box with the files that I've opened up or selected in this dialog. So I'm going to set the handles.list files, and I'm going to set the string with the file name. So file name will contain the file names that we've selected uh, after we've pressed this push button. And so another thing that I want to do here is display uh, the files in the list box. So what I want to do, I'm just going to uh, write this code here so that when I click on the file in the list box, it'll display down here. It'll say selected file is whatever I'm, I've clicked on. So I'm going to get the list box string and the value. Those are the two most important parts of the list box are the string and the value. So if I open this up, double click in here, string is what's actually populated in the list box. Uh, and the value down here is what is currently selected. So you can see initially value set to one, which means it's which you can see here is it's selected to the first um, entry in the list box. So I'm going to get the list box string, which I call list string, and I'm going to get and I can use H object instead of handles .list files because I'm in the list files callback. So h object, and I want to get the string. And then I also want to get the list val. And in the same way, we'll call it like this. And then I want to display the selected files. And I want to display them down here in the command window, so I'll use fprintf. And the first thing I need to do, though, is check whether it's uh, a cell array or whether it's just a string. And this happens uh, because if you only load in one file, the file name will be a string. And if you load in multiple files, it'll be uh, a, a cell array. So I'll show you that when I run this. So I use is cell. So if list string is cell is a cell array, that means that we've loaded multiple files. Then I'll call this new variable file name is equal to the list string. And I'll take the list val. So I'm going to take whichever one that I have currently clicked on um, and take the file name from there. And then I'll fprintf that to the uh, command window as selected file, oops, just one file, and I'll display that as a string and then enter after that and I'll display the file name. And then else, if it's not a cell, so if we've only selected one file, 
file name will just be list string because we just want to display a string. And again, we will fprintf selected file percent s n and file name. Okay, so this is everything. It should be everything. So let's run it uh, with F5, and it opens up here, and you can see it's selected to the first uh, value. So value is one, string is empty. So let's press select files to open. And first, I'll just press cancel here. And when I press cancel, you can see that C check is zero. It doesn't do anything um, because C check zero, so it's not populating anything in this list box. So let's go back and select files. Okay, now I'm going to select, right now, I'll just select the fig file. I'm just going to select one file, open it up. You can see C check is now one. And you can see file name is ABC. It's a string here, 28 by one characters. I can open this up and you can see it looks something like this. The file path is also a string and this is just the path from where it came from. And, and so since it's not a cell, it goes to here and then it writes in the uh, list string and it says selected files when I click on it. So sorry, that was going moving a step further. What it does is it sets the value to one. So it sets the selection to one. So that's why this is highlighted in blue. And then it shows the selected file names in the list box. And this is what it's doing. It's showing, oh, I selected GUI list box file display dot fig. And when I click on this, you can see it says selected file. That's the selected file I chose. Okay, to display a more interesting uh, scenario, let's select two. I'm going to control select both of these files, open them up. You can see now this file name has changed to a cell array where it's a two by one cell. If I double click this, you can see both the file names here. And when I go back here, you can see they're both displayed in here. This resets the value to one. So that's why this is highlighted here. And then it sets the string to the file name. So I have both of the file names in here because it set this file name in here. And then if I click one of these, it says selected file is this. If I click the next one, it's a, it'll say selected file is this. You can see right now my default value is at two right now. The selected value is at two. So what happens if I if I select files again, right? Uh, if I select the files, both of these files again, it will select the first entry instead of saying staying selected at two here. So if I do this and open these again, you see how it changed from the second value, value equals to two to value equals one because I added this in here. So this is just a way to add files from what you've selected in um, this UI uh, get file function in MATLAB and it'll, it'll uh, put it into the list box so that you can manipulate the data from there. So thanks for watching.